Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Nectar Elements, which is one of the four plugins that comes in the Isotope Elements suite, to process the dialogue track for a podcast or a video voiceover. Like all of the plugins in the Elements suite, Nectar Elements is super easy to use and features machine learning that can analyze your audio and provide you with a recommended starting point for the processing. Of course, you aren't limited to just using the recommended settings. You can always adjust and fine-tune to your liking. As you'll see in this video, it couldn't be easier or faster to get a great sounding voice track for your podcast or video using Nectar Elements. Today I'm using the raw audio that I recorded for a video tutorial on how to create a project in Pro Tools. I'll be processing it in Nectar Elements to prepare it for the video release. Here's a sample of the raw audio. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today let's learn how to create a new project in Pro Tools. To begin, let's instantiate and open up the Nectar Elements plugin. I'll load it straight into an insert slot on my voiceover track in Pro Tools. When we first open the plugin window, it shows us a couple of basic settings that tell the plugin what sort of vocal we're working on, as well as how much processing we want to apply. Under Vibes, we have three choices for vocal type. The first two, Vintage and Modern, are for sung vocals. The last choice, Dialogue, is for spoken word, which is what we're working on for our video voiceover today, so we'll choose that. Next, we need to choose the intensity, which sets how heavily the audio will be processed. I'm going to leave this at moderate. I find this is a good starting point, and keep in mind that we can always adjust things to our liking later to make the processing heavier or lighter. To begin, we simply hit go, and Nectar Elements will wait for us to play back our audio. Once the audio is playing, Nectar Elements will begin analyzing the audio and setting up the various processing modules within the plugin for us. You can see that it's analyzing and applying settings based on the vocal content that it detects. It detects the register in case we want to tune the vocal. That would be more important for a sung vocal than for spoken word. It starts to apply EQ, de-essing, applies compression, and then sets up some reverb depending on the vocal type. When Nectar Elements is finished analyzing and making its recommended settings, it switches to a window that shows us the processing modules within the plugin. We can now make adjustments to those modules. First, let's listen to what Nectar Elements did with its recommended settings. Here's the raw audio. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today and here's the processed to audio. Project in Pro Tools. I've launched Pro Tools and I'm looking at a blank screen. That's a big difference. Let's take a look at what's happening. We're not working on a sung vocal, so no pitch correction is being applied. Clarity is a subtractive EQ, which means that it's pulling out certain frequencies to make the sound clearer and the words more easily understood. This is very important for a spoken word vocal like this. Like all the parameters, we can adjust that if we like. DSing deals with sibilance, those S and C type sounds that can be harsh and hard to deal with in a vocal track. Dynamics is applying compression to help even out the level or volume of the audio so it isn't too loud in places and too soft in other places. It gives us a more consistent volume on the output, which makes the podcast or video voiceover easier to listen to, especially in a car or other noisy environment. Now, I don't like to get too heavy with this. I don't want it to sound squashed or overly compressed, so it's nice to be able to dial that up and down to find the right amount. Our final two parameters are what Nectar Elements calls our polish parameters. The first is tone, which adjusts the quality of the sound. It allows you to balance the brightness of the sound with the fullness of the sound to create the best tone. Space is a reverb. It makes the track sound like it's in a room. For spoken word, we don't want too much of this because it can make the sound washy and harder to understand. You might want a little bit for extra life in the sound, but in this case, I prefer to leave it off for my video voiceover. Let's listen to our raw vocal and our process vocal again. The bypass button allows Hi, us to I'm switch Gallagher between the two and compare. Today, let's learn how to create a new project in Pro Tools. I've launched Pro Tools and I'm looking at a blank screen here. At this point, we can either accept what Nectar Elements did for us, or we can start adjusting to our taste. I'm going to make a few subtle adjustments to the sound. I might bring the clarity down just a little so the sound is a little fuller. I might adjust the de-essing, although I think that's set up pretty well. We could pull down the dynamics so it isn't quite as compressed, and I might dial down the tone just a little bit as well. I don't think I'll add any reverb. I like the dry sound. Now let's compare the raw audio and my adjusted settings. Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today let's learn how to create a new project in Pro Tools. I've launched Pro Tools and I'm looking at a blank screen here. That's all there is to it. About the only other thing I might do is apply a limiter or maximizer, like the one in Ozone Elements, which also comes in the Elements suite, to ensure that we're getting a nice hot voice level. But that's about the only other thing I might do. In fact, that's exactly the processing that was applied to the narration in this video. Nectar Elements, followed by the maximizer from Ozone Elements. That's all it takes to get a great sounding voice track using Nectar Elements on your podcast or video voiceover. It's a super easy process that gives you great results.